Hi folks, it's Pastor Carl Ziegler, and um, uh, this is the 20 some month one of these that I've done. They're no longer going to be called poolside chats because, well, pools are closed now, it's after Labor Day. But not only that, uh, Sunday it was in the 90s, and tonight it's supposed to get down to the 40s. So we're going to kind of go back to fireside chats because I think that, that just works better. I apologize for not uh, being uh, present on Wednesday. I was getting ready for a funeral of one of our saints who passed away, who was 103 years old. Imagine that, 103 years old. She was born during the Woodrow Wilson administration. She lived during the World War I, World War II, Korea, uh, Vietnam. Uh, she was born at the very beginning of um, a pandemic, and she died during a pandemic. Um, and she had a long and fruitful life. Um, I want to talk just a little bit today, uh, and I've thought about what to, to mention, but that's been on my mind a little bit. And our uh, our Lutheran witness has just come out, and uh, it's uh, the topic is uh, the art of dying well. That's what it says. Now that doesn't sound like a very cheerful topic. Uh, and frankly, a lot of us here might uh, struggle with that uh, and really don't want to talk about that at all. But it occurs to me, how does one die well? Uh, because that's something that every single one of us is going to face at one point or another. Sometimes we'll face that uh, when we're old, like a, when we're 103, and when maybe our mind is gone and our strength is gone and and our, our body is broken and used up, but sometimes it might occur sooner than that. How do we die well? And I think that's a, a fair question for us as believers in Christ. I'm reminded of the verse in Hebrews chapter uh, 12, where the writer to the Hebrews writes this, Therefore, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses. Let us also lay aside every weight and sin that clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising its shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus. Dale Meyer, the former president of Concordia Seminary in St. Louis and also the former speaker of the Lutheran Hour uh, used to say that for all people, life narrows. And I know I've said this before, but to me it made a kind of a profound effect on me because it's true. This dear saint that passed away, she was one of the last people in this congregation who I started visiting as soon as I came here 18 years ago and she was living in her home at that point and uh, she died in a care facility uh, and she died with uh, very few things around her that's just the way things go for for all of us life narrows and it narrows to that which is most important and as we talk about what a what a uh, the art of dying is all about, it ultimately is about that. It's about Jesus, and about our relationship with Him. It's not about our four hundred one ks or our four hundred three bs, or our boats or our campers or our house or what we're going to leave our children financially. It really is about that which is eternal, and that is Christ Jesus and what he has done for us, namely living and suffering and dying on our behalf so that we might be handed the victory through and in him. To die well is to die believing in and trusting in the fact that Christ Jesus loves you. To die well has nothing to do with the strength of your faith. It has everything to do with the object of your faith. And that object is Christ Jesus. I want to share with you one of my favorite hymns. 
It's going to be sung at my funeral. Uh, it's hymn number 878. And it's the hymn Abide With Me. And I'm going to do something I don't normally don't do. But I just want you to hear verse 6. O thou thy cross before my closing eyes shine through the gloom and point me to the skies heaven's morning breaks and earth's vain shadows flee in life in death O Lord abide with me and the good news is my dear people the good news is he does. He does. Well, that's about it. Um, continue to be in God's word during this time. Always be in God's word. Be in prayer. That is the stuff that gets you through the day, I believe. Um, be a member of the body of Christ where he's placed you. Please join us for worship physically or on the live stream. Uh, God be with you. I hope to be back next week. These might become a little bit more sporadic. Uh, life is getting busier here in that First Lutheran is getting more and more uh, active and alive, but uh, we'll try to keep these up. God be with. Have a great day.